Hi, I'm Glenn of Rain Access Solutions. Welcome to my vlog. On this episode, I have a W207 battery activation or battery booster. This is for Android. I got this from Lazada and originally this was from China. The purpose of this thing is for activating a long dead battery which are for Android mobile. If you look at this, it has 18 pins or 18 ports from 1 to number 18. It's quite difficult for the camera to zoom in and see the actual connectors which are in this board. Oh, by the way, this is the W207 Pro and it has a micro USB to draw power from a power source to power up the batteries at the back of which has a foam to isolate the heat and to protect the board from breaking or scratching tables. Okay, I have a magnifier with lights here let's see if we can zoom in and see how the battery connectors look like in close um, magnification well this magnifier offered a little help because we couldn't actually um, zoom in and see the number of pins for that each connector has now we're going to use my <clears throat> LED uh, microscope to actually see what's in these um, ports or connectors let's zoom in so I'm gonna point with my biro or my pen here so if you look at the number 3 it, this is a kind of an odd looking um, connector so number five, number six, by the way all of these are for Android, number seven, number eight. So if you're not familiar with the models that can fit on these um, connectors, all you need to do is to match the battery connector to this port and therefore you can use it after. So remember there are 18 um, battery connector here that you can use and all of these are for Androids only. I'm gonna get a uh, damaged phone and we'll try and take out the battery and test it if it's still working or not if it's going to work we'll see so this is the battery for Samsung Galaxy S6 and um, it's been faulty for the phone has been faulty for for a year now um, we're gonna try if the battery can still uh, work and it can can it be revived by this um, battery activation okay here's the connector for the battery as you can see there's like six pins the outer edges are big and in the middles are in the middle are two or four pins which are thinner than the the outer edges and look at the number seven they seem to match with the battery connector so I'm gonna connect this um, battery to number seven let's see if it's going to connect there looks like it's a uh, fit and but okay let's take this out first 
but if you look at the LED display there should be a display here once I plug in the battery the battery must have been um, uh, drained for a very long time now so I'm going to connect the USB connector to power up this device this accepts up to 5 volts only if you put uh, a voltage which is higher than that then it could damage the board before I plug in the power let's uh, go for the safety first I need a safety goggle just in case the battery catches fire okay here as you can see the battery is still active and it's still charging here I'm pointing at the voltage and this is the display for the um, amperage and this is the connector it is connected to my product schematic and as you can see the amperes that it's a consuming is 1.6 amp on this side there's a USB port for charging another phone while this is connected to the power source if you unplug the power source you will see that the battery will drain really fast because we didn't actually charge it fully yet let's try and um, plug this the other way around let's see if this battery can be plugged into this board in any direction there it's still working even though I plug it upside down or the other way around now we're going to connect a um, longer USB cable and still it's get taking in 1.6 amperes there's another way to charge this um, battery there is an auxiliary charger which is um, banana tipped with a micro USB plug the micro USB again to the uh, power in and connect the banana connectors to the power supply make sure again that the power supply is limited to 5 volts only here I have the Kaisi 1505TD which I set preset to 5 volts if it's preset to 5 volts no matter how high you turn the knob it's gonna be limited to 5 volts here it's still charging at 4.73 volts and as you can see it's eating up 1.33 amps at 5.2 volts here's the analog display of its amperage anyway guys if you find this video useful please subscribe thank you very much for watching have a nice day everyone